Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. This is virtual class of Pakistan International School Taif. I am Ms. Bushra Tanvir. This is Pakistan Studies class for grade 8. This is our 16th video of this class. In this video, we shall study chapter number 2 from Pakistan Studies book. Dear students, after today's lesson, you will be able to understand the text given in chapter 2. You will also be able to do the short question answer from this chapter. Dear students, today we shall start chapter number 2 from Pakistan Studies book. The title of the chapter is Making of Pakistan. First of all, we start the first subheading, page number 19. The first subheading is Pakistan Movement 1940-1947. In this chapter, we shall discuss or we shall study about the Pakistan Movement, the era from 1940 to 1940. Seven. It means that from the Pakistan resolution till the existence of Pakistan, all the events we will study in today's lesson. After failure of the war of freedom in 1857, the Muslim leaders were constantly thinking how they could provide the Muslims with peaceful, secured and honored environment though it was being discussed as how to provide security to the Muslims yet they were unsatisfied with their future many significant personalities like C. A. Jamaluddin Afghani, Abdul Halim Sharar, Abdul Jabbar Khairi, Abdul Sattar Khairi, Khairi Brothers, Maulana Muhammad Ali Johar, Qaid Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Allama Iqbal and Chaudhi Rahmat Ali proposed for partition the subcontinent. Dear students, now the explanation of these lines. We start from the Pakistan resolution, Pakistan movement. Uh, after the failure of war of freedom in 1857, the Muslim war the Muslim leaders, they were worried about the security, about the peaceful and the honorable environment for the Muslim. And uh, it is, it was being discussed how the Muslim got the security in the subcontinent and how the security had given to the Muslim and also in the future they were unsatisfied and uh, many personalities like Jamaluddin Afghani, Abdul Halim Sharar, Abdul Jabbar Khairi, Abdul Sattar Khairi, Maulana Muhammad Ali Johar, Lama Iqbal, Qaid Azam and Jyoti Rahmat Ali. These personalities were worried about the Muslims of the subcontinent. Dear students, now the next passage is Pakistan was demanded by the whole Muslim nation after a through thinking this demand was not made under some timely anger or passion. In this way the demand for partition of the subcontinent grew gradually. The important event that took place with reference to the Pakistan movement from 1940 to 47 are given below. Dear students, now the explanation of these lines that 
the demand for Pakistan by the whole Muslim nation after a thorough thinking this demand for the Muslim was not met under some timely anger means this demand is not only for the time being and but this demand is the patient for the Muslims and due to this demand the people of the subcontinent or we can say the Muslim of the subcontinent had the strong thinking for the partition of the subcontinent and also in the next pages we discussed about we shall discuss about the Pakistan movement from 1940 to 1947. Yes, students, now the next subheading is Pakistan Resolution 1940. The 27th session, annual session of All India Muslim League was held at Lahore in the historical park, Iqbal Park on 23rd of March 1940. It was presided over by Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, great personalities like Maulana Zafar Ali Khan, Chaudhi Khali Kuzema, Kazi Muhammad Isa, Sir Abdullah Harun, Sardar Abdul Abnashtar and Maulana Abdul Hamid Badiani were present in this session. A great number of Muslims from all over the subcontinent participated in the session. A resolution named Lahore Resolution was presented in the session by the Tiger of Bengal, A.K. Fazlul Haq. Dear students, now here we shall study or I shall explain you the Pakistan Resolution. All India Muslim League 27th session Pakistan Resolution was passed in Iqbal Park in Lahore where the Minare Pakistan is located and that resolution was presided by Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah and also the great personalities who were present there Chaudhary Khali Kuzama, Qazi Muhammad Isa, Sir Abdulhar, Abdullah Harun, Sardar Abdul Abnashtar and also from the subcontinent a large number of Muslims participated in the session and this resolution was called Raho resolution or also we can say the name of this resolution was Pakistan resolution and it was presented by Tiger of Bengal A.K. Fazlul Haq. Dear students, now the next subheading is Background of Pakistan Resolution. The Muslims wanted to secure themselves against the domination of the Hinduism. The Hindu parties were making demand for Ram Raj. Hinduism was constantly trying to merge Islam into it like other issues. If the United subcontinent had got freedom, it would have been a permanent form of Hindu authority because modern democratic system believes in majority government. It was a must to get rid of the dominance of Hindus and it was possible only if subcontinent was divided. Yes, students, now the explanation of these lines, the background of Pakistan resolution the Muslim want to secure themselves from the domination or from the power of the Hindus and the Hindus parties were making demand for Ram Raj means the Hindu parties were making the um, means that in subcontinent they just want that they 
just adopted their raj over there and hinduism means that the hindu parties or the hindu leaders was permanently trying to merge the islam a into other issues like that they don't want that the subcontinent would be divided because in the subcontinent there is not only the muslims also other the other nations also lived over there so the that due to that they just want to merge the islam or the muslims also in the other nations or in the other religions if the subcontinent and the muslim knew that if the subcontinent when uh, got freedom so it means that the permanent authority will be handed over to hindus why because on that time the modern democratic system believes in majority government and hindu hindus were in majority in the subcontinent so the muslim want to get rid or want to free from the power of the hindus or and it was possible if the subcontinent was divided into two parts the next point is in spite of the presence of british rule the blood of the muslims were shed mercilessly in sectarian riots the muslims were given less status in the society they could not lead a dignified and graceful life in the hindu society that believes in caste system color and creed and the hindus could never agree to give the muslims equal social status in the second half of the 19th century and the during of the beginning of the 20th century the hindus continued their attempts to wipe out the language color and the civilization of the muslims it seemed clear that if india got freedom as a single country the culture civilization and the language of the muslim would always be in danger dear students now the explanation of these lines that the in the presence of the british government the blood of the muslims means that the muslim were was killed muslims were killed over in the subcontinent mercilessly and without pity muslim was in the hand uh, hand over the hindus in the presence of the british rule and also the hindus were given less status in the society means that the hindu can't be give the uh, can't give the preference or the spread to the muslims they could not lead a dignified and graceful life in the hindu society so it is very difficult for the muslims to lived with the hindus and because the hindus believes in the color caste or creed and they couldn't they could never agree to give the muslims equal status social status in the subcontinent so in the second half of the 19th century and also in the big during the beginning of the 20th century the hindus just want to demolish the culture language and the civilization of the muslims because they just want to snatch or they just want to live in the subcontinent by their own they just want they are on government in the subcontinent so if the muslims know that if the india got freedom as a single country the culture civilization and the language of the muslim would always be in danger so it is a demand for the muslim for the separate state or for the division of the subcontinent 
the students now the next point is in different periods different visionaries gave the signs about the partition of the subcontinent but alama iqbal while presiding over the annual session of all india muslim league at alabad in 1930 presented the clear plan in a forceful and argumentative manner chaudhry rahmat ali prepared a pamphlet now or never and distributed it among the participants of the third round table conference being held in london sindh muslim league passed a resolution in favor of partition and 1940 qaid e azam got the resolution of pakistan passed and formed it as a demand of millat the students also the different or you can say the uh, active participants of the freedom movement or the great personalities were worried about the muslim of the subcontinent and also lama muhammad iqbal demanded for the separate state of the muslim in his alabad address in 1930 and also chaudhry rahmat ali in 1933 when he prepared or published a pamphlet now and never in that pamphlet he put the name of the state pakistan and also he was the great supporter for the freedom movement and in 1940 qaid e azam also got the resolution of pakistan just for the demand of millat or just for the demand of the separate state for the muslim Yes, students. Now the next subheading is Qaid e Azam Presiden uh, Presidential Address while presiding over All India Muslim League session at Lahore in 1940. Qaid e Azam identified the direction for the struggle of the Muslims. The main points of his address are as under. The first one is the Muslims are a separate nation because their custom, tradition, civilization, culture, and above all, religion is different from Hindus. in spite of the fact that they had been living together for centuries both have their distinctive identification if the subcontinent gets freedom in the form of united india the rights of the muslims will not be protected i think the language which is given over here is very clear and the points is also very clear to you so the means that all these discussions we also discussed in our previous lesson that the muslims are a separate nation in we discussed all these things in the two nation theory so it means that each and every point is clear to you in this in these lines and also the other points which qaid e azam discussed in that that the british india is a subcontinent it is not a country or homeland of a nation many nations are living here and their interests are separate from another it means that it is necessary for the muslims for the demand of the separate state dear students now the next subheading is text of the resolution the resolution declared no constitutional plan would be workable or acceptable to the muslims unless geographical contiguous units are demarcated into regions which should be uh, on constituted with such territorial readjustments as may be necessary it further reads the adequate effective and mandatory safeguards shall be specifically provided in the constitution for minorities in the units and it is and in the regions for the protection of their religious cultural economic political and administrative and other rights of the minorities with their consultation arrangements thus should be made for the security of muslims whether they were in the minority so the pakistan resolution what is was the text of the pakistan resolution the text of the pakistan resolution which discussed over here about that 
the all india uh, muslim league was the party of the muslims and any constitution or the plan no plan or the constitution would be workable or acceptable to the muslims until the muslim have the separate state or or the separate adjustment and also in the it is clearly said that in which areas the muslims are in majority and those areas will be given to the free states status and also the other areas where the muslims were in minorities so it is also necessary that the security should be provided to the muslims in those states also yes, students now the reaction or to the resolution the hindu leaders began to express their views against the resolution the resolution was rejected gandhi and hindu opposed the resolution absolutely of all india muslim league named this resolution as a lahore resolution but the hindu press ridiculously began to write it as a pakistan resolution the muslim leaders adopted this new term and today it is called the pakistan resolution the british press called this resolution or pakistan of jana the hindu newspaper the hindustan times modern review and amrita bazar patrika write wrote editorials against the plans of the partitions so the hindu was called this resolution is the resolution of lahore or jana resolution and in the different newspaper of the hindus were given the different name of this resolution the students now the next subheading is crips mission 1942 the british government sent a mission to the subcontinent in 1942 headed by sir stafford crips it tried to unite all the political parties on some points but it failed in its attempt crips didn't declare any party responsible for the failure of the mission rather he accepted himself the failure the muslims had made demand for pakistan through pakistan resolution the leader of the congress were launching movement against the government and crips mission is the uh, led by sir stafford crips but it was failed and the muslim of the subcontinent also had the had made demand for pakistan so the leader of the congress were launching movement against the government because anticipating the defeat of the british in second world war it has decided that japanese would now decide it, the future of the subcontinent so this proposal was rejected by the muslims and hindus also dear students now the proposal of the crips mission after the war the subcontinent would be under the crown but the british government would avoid interfering in internal as well as external affairs it may uh, defend foreign affairs communication will be will be handed over by to the indians the member of the provincial legislative legislative assemblies will elect a central assemblies for framing constitution and the fourth point appropriate steps will be taken for the security of the minorities the students now the proposal of the crips mission first of all that after the war all the uh, means the states will be under the british rule and the defend foreign affairs communications all these departments will handed over to indians and also in the 
legislative uh, assembly the muslims have uh, given no rights so that reason this the muslim didn't accept this proposal because the muslims were in the minority in the sub continent dear students now the short question answer related to these topics question 1 while presiding over all india muslim league session at lahore in 1940 qaid azam identified the direction for the struggle of the muslims write any two points of this address while presiding over the all india muslim league session at lahore in 1940 qaid azam identified the direction for the struggle of the muslims the main points of his address as a, are as under the first point the muslims are a separate nation because their customs tradition civilization culture and above all religion in is different from hindus and the point number 2 the demand of the muslims for a separate country is not an historical ireland got freedom from england spain and the portugal became separate state and the rest of the material you can see from your book and complete the point from your book now the third point of this answer is british india is a subcontinent it is not a country or homeland of a nation many nations are living here and their interests are separate from one another dear students the answer of this question you have to write any two points you can choose any two points from this answer now the question number 2 narrate three proposal of the crips mission crips mission offered the following proposals after the the first one is after the war the subcontinent will be under the crown but the british government would avoid it avoid interfering in internal as well as external affairs number 2 defense foreign affairs communication etc will be handed over the indians number 3 the members of the provincial legislative assemblies will elect elect a central assembly for framing constitution after the constitution is framed it will be sent to all the provinces for confirmation confirmation the provinces which would not approve the constitution would have the authority to establish their independent status appropriate step will be taken for the security of the minorities dear students now the homework learn and write short question answer which are done today see you in the next video goodbye